In today's video, I am going to be sharing my favorite edible gourmand fragrances. So if that's your type of thing, then please keep on watching. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if it's the first time you are visiting. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Hayley and I review fragrances. So as I already mentioned in the intro, today's video is going to be all about edible gourmand fragrances. These are fragrances that smell like food in some type of way and I have picked different fragrances with different types of notes so it's not going to be lots of caramel fragrances or lots of vanilla fragrances, I've picked varying types of different notes. So this list is definitely going to be edible. I tried not to pick any fragrances that only lean a little bit gourmand. These are full on gourmands for those of you that like to smell edible. So without further ado, let's jump into the first fragrance. The first fragrance is from Experimental Perfume Club or EPC for short, and this one is called Tonka Sesame. Now this fragrance is so delicious. If you do not already know, I absolutely adore Tonka as a note and Tonka Sesame does not disappoint. This fragrance is so delicious. They also have a fragrance called Tonka Extraordinaire, which is amazing too. It's a little bit stronger and a little bit deeper, but I love the airiness of Tonka Sesame. I first tried this one about a year and a half ago. I have or had a 10 ml size format of it first. And as the name would suggest, it smells like Tonka and it smells like sesame but I almost get this kind of almond croissant vibe from it. I don't know where that comes from. The sesame gives it a sweet yet savory, almost tahini touch to it. And then the tonka bean is fluffy, it's powdery. It's just delicious in my opinion. If you really love tonka as a note, this is a fragrance you need to try. Absolutely one of the best tonka fragrances on the market in my opinion. I think this one is phenomenal. It's gourmand, but it's not overly sweet. It does have that savory kind of edge to it with the sesame, and I don't find this one overbearing at all. Really, really comforting. It is my scent of the day, and I am so happy about it. Although it is making me a little bit hungry, so probably not a wise choice because I have not eaten yet. But anyway, this is Tonka Sesame by EPC. Next up is Jani by Soradora. How could I not include this fragrance in this video? Jani was such an anticipated release of 2023 for me because I smelt it back in March and then it only released later in the year. I think it only released in November last year. So it's still a relatively new fragrance. And this is the apple pie fragrance of dreams, or shall I say apple tart tan? Cause it smells more like that. It's buttery, it's flaky, it's a little bit powdery, it's sweet, and it really smells like cooked down apples that have turned syrupy, they've got really caramelized. You smell the pastry, and my friend described it to me as smelling a little bit like a freshly made apple pie before it's gone into the oven, and I completely get what she means by that. There's a little bit of spice in here, just a tad, and a lot of people always ask, does this smell similar to Angel Share? And I don't think it does. This one is easier to wear in my opinion. It's not too sweet, it's not too thick and dense, it's not too spicy, it's just absolutely perfect. I have reviewed this one on my channel. I have a standalone review of this one with their other new launch called Mallow, which is also an amazing gourmand fragrance. But yeah, if you like the sound of a syrupy caramelized apple tart to tan with a pastry kind of vibe and just a little bit of spice, think cinnamon sugar. You need to check out Jani by Soradora because it's absolutely incredible. Next up is Baklava Royale by Navitus and Gabby from Gabby Loves Perfumes. This is a collaboration perfume and it's an incredible take on baklava. Now I told you I was going to feature different types of notes and this one focuses around, of course, the incredible delicious dessert baklava, which is a dessert I absolutely love. Not that I can eat it anymore. I have so many food allergies and tolerances, all of that kind of stuff. But back to this fragrance, this is baklava done right. It's not overly sweet. It's not overly gourmand. It's just the perfect amount in my opinion. 
And she balanced off the notes by adding in some orange blossom. And a lot of baklava or traditional baklava actually features orange blossom water. So I think it's perfect and it stops it from being too sweet, too sticky and too gourmand. And then you've got this dense, I think it's Akigala wood in the base, which gives this amazing longevity. This has the most incredible scent bubble around it. The pistachio in here is not synthetic. It's not overly sweet. It's got a really nice creamy and nutty texture to it, almost like roasted pistachios. And if you like baklava as a dessert, you should definitely sample this fragrance. It is an X-ray, so it's a strong performing fragrance. And like I said, it's not overly sweet. Yes, it's an edible gourmand, but it doesn't get overbearing in any way, at least in my opinion anyway. I think this is such a fantastic collaboration of fragrance. I was deciding between Baclava Royale and Chocolate Queen, both by Gabby because she loves her gourmand fragrances. And I decided to go with Baclava Royale because for me, there's nothing on the market like this. And who doesn't like baklava? I mean, of course, some of you maybe don't, but baklava is just delicious. Next up is Byron's The Chronic Rouge Extreme. And this is more of a fluffy, fruity fragrance. It's quite sexy too. And to me, this smells like a mixture of red berries, maybe some dark berries too, with lots of whipped cream on top, or kind of like a fruit salad with lots of whipped cream on top. Oh, this one is so delicious. Another person described this as smelling like strawberry shortbread, and I completely get that reference too. Imagine eating some delicious crumbly strawberry shortbread with a side of whipped cream. That is the vibe you're going to get with this one. I'm not even going to go there with the notes because I want to tell you how I experience these gourmand fragrances and what they smell like to me. And this is a very gourmand fragrance in my opinion. It is a little bit lactonic and milky. You're getting lots of sweet fruits throughout. This one is not the loudest in terms of projection and longevity, but I do adore the scent profile. I think it's really, really delicious. Of course, it's in an edible gourmand video and one of my favorite fruity, creamy gourmand fragrances. Next up is Bianco Latte by Giardini di Toscana. Yes, I had to include this fragrance in here. I know everyone is speaking about this fragrance at the moment, but it had to make this list because it is one of the most delicious thick vanilla fragrances. It's a little bit frothy. It's got this kind of condensed milk feel to it in the base, like caramelized condensed milk with the really dense sweet vanilla. I think this fragrance is absolutely incredible. I do also think this is one of the best vanilla fragrances on the market because it has amazing longevity and projection. Yes, the stem profile is somewhat of a basic vanilla, but it actually performs and that is what makes this one so special in my opinion. And this actually is a fragrance that gets lots of compliments. And I know there are some of you out there that are skeptical about people who say this fragrance gets me lots of compliments, but this one actually does. Granted, maybe not every time I wear it, but there have been times when I have worn this fragrance and I have had multiple compliments in one day. I don't know what it is about it, but it does leave an amazing scent trail. And I think that's what draws people in to ask either what you're wearing or to give you a compliment. But that being said, compliments don't happen all the time. They definitely don't happen all the day, but this is definitely one of the fragrances in my collection that gets the most compliments. So if you're looking for a dense, thick vanilla fragrance that's sweet and it almost has a caramelized condensed milk vibe about it, then Bianco Latte is one that you might wanna sample. I know I'm going through these fragrances quite quickly. I have reviewed all of these fragrances in more detail on my channel before, but if anything stands out to you, please do let me know down in the comments and I will do a more in-depth review. But I just want to say like I, love edible gourmand fragrances, but I don't necessarily wear them all the time. I prefer just smelling them from the bottle, but they're not necessarily fragrances that I feel are the most wearable for my personal taste. But these are my favorite gourmands in my collection at the moment, so I wanted to make this video. But yeah, I love a gourmand fragrance, but I don't always wear them all the time, if that makes sense at all. So the next fragrance is from Juice, and this one is Le Gourmand. And if you are looking for a chocolate fragrance, 
this is the one that you need to sample. I have a couple of amazing chocolate fragrances within my collection, but this one is chocolate mixed with hazelnut and it smells exactly like Nutella to me. So, so delicious. There's actually a bread or a toast note in the composition and it really does remind me of a nostalgic smell that was me eating Nutella on toast years ago. I used to eat that all the time. I definitely don't eat that anymore but this is what this smells like. It might be a little bit too edible for some people, but it smells so incredibly realistic. This is definitely a fragrance that makes me hungry. This just smells like chocolate hazelnut spread. Straight up, that is what you're getting. It has medium longevity and projection, but wow, this is definitely one of the best gourmand fragrances in my opinion so ultra realistic and I have to recommend this fragrance as one of my favorites in my collection. The next fragrance is Chabord's Laid Biscuit and this smells to me like freshly baked sugar cookies. They have no filling, no chocolate chips, anything like that. They are buttery sugar biscuits that are hard so they've got some crunch and snap to them and you're dipping them in a warm, sweet milk. That is what I get from this. Chabord's another brand that does amazing gourmand fragrances. I nearly included the chocolate one in this list. However, my personal favorite is the biscuit version. And if you love the smell of biscuits, specifically sugar cookies, I would highly recommend sampling this one. It's another fragrance that has about medium longevity, medium projection. It's not super loud at all, but it does smell incredible. And this one actually layers beautifully with Bianco Latte because it adds just a slight sugary biscuit touch to that vanilla and milk DNA of Bianco Latte. I think this is such a nice fragrance. And if you wanna smell like a sugar cookie, this is the one that you need to sample. So those were all of the fragrances that I wanted to discuss in today's video, all extremely edible. As I already mentioned, I don't reach for edible gourmands myself that much. I personally prefer my more complex gourmands, maybe that have a floral touch to them or a woody or a spicy base, something like that. But when I really do want to smell edible or like a snack, these would be the fragrances that I would reach for. So I would love to know what are your favorite edible gourmand fragrances? Please do let me know down in the comments. I would love to hear your feedback and see if I can find any new loves. But thank you so much for joining me today. It's been a pleasure as always. Hope to see you in a future video to come. Thank you so much and goodbye.